Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark with another quick Learn Dash tip. And today we're looking at how you can bring SCORM content into your Learn Dash courses. Now, if you're not familiar, SCORM is a type of authored content and it's created using software like Articulate, Storyline, and Captivate, and other ones available. And it's basically packaged up content, which looks a bit like this, where you'd have a number of pages and potentially some quizzes in there and uh, other bits of interactive content. And these are packaged up and expo exported as zip files. And the idea being that these zip files can then be deployed onto learning management systems like LearnDash and Moodle and other ones that you, you find uh, out there. So natively, LearnDash doesn't have any way to bring in SCORM files. And what you need is one of a couple of plugins to be able to do that. And the main ones for LearnDash are this GrassBlade option here, which is a, has this GrassBlade XP, XAPI companion uh, for LearnDash. And there's also one by Uncanny Owl called Tinkani. And these are both premium plugins, so you would need to buy these and install them on your LearnDash platform to be able to have SCORM content on there. So we're going to have a look at one of the options there. We're going to install Tincanny just so that we can bring in a SCORM file onto one of our courses. And I'm going to head to plugins. And once you've purchased Tincanny, you will be able to go to add new, upload the plugin and browse for it install it by selecting the zip file and then choosing install now and then we would activate the plugin this is where you would enter the license key uh, but as i'm just demonstrating here i'm just going to skip that so please don't tell anyone i'm going to go to manage content so once you have tincani installed here you would have this option to in upload your content. But I should add that Tin Canny is a really useful reporting tool. You can get some really good reports uh, about users and groups and things like that. So um, we're not going to go into that as part of this video, but that is uh, a really key feature of Tin Canny. So we go to upload content here and we upload our SCORM file. So I have an example SCORM file here. And what it's going to do is upload that and we have that uploaded and we can see the content name what it was created using and we can preview it here so i'll just choose preview and we can see we have a a course that we can you know click through five weeks to a healthier you it might have some interactive content in potentially but um yeah this is basically what our scorm looks like so yeah it's got some hotspot type activities here and uh, potentially something elsewhere. So we've uploaded the SCORM to uh, Tin Canny here. And what I'm going to do is go to one of my LearnDash courses. So what I might do first actually is, is just go to the, um, Uh, courses page here and then just open one of my courses here and what I might do is just stick that SCORM right in the middle of this course home page here um, and just in place of this Latin text so I'm just going to delete all this here and then I'm going to insert that tin canny so if I click plus here and search for um, is it SCORM or tin, tin Canny Content is the one. So what we want to do is choose Tin Canny Content and we can either upload it. So if you hadn't already uploaded the file, you could do it here or you can select it from the library, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to choose the one I just uploaded. And it looks like it chooses some suitable uh, sizes for this but um, we'll just leave that for now and click update and if i now view the course and scroll down we can see that we have this scom inside it and 
based on the selection we've made there, it is opening this in a new sort of frame within it. So it's like a light box type SCORM. But the good thing about SCORM and Tin Canny is that it remembers how far you are through modules. So if you remember, I was clicking through that earlier and it's remembered where I am. So it's remembered that I'm 25% through. And yeah, I can just sort of keep going through the resource and um, you know, just go through and it's just a nice nice way of presenting content and um, yeah a lot of people use SCORM so hopefully this video will uh, help someone who uses LearnDash to get their content into their courses. So we hope you find this useful and if you did please give the video a like and if you would like to see more like this please subscribe to the Train Spark YouTube channel.